Wyatt Earp once said, fast is fine, but accuracy is final. And that's a good analogy for the defensive pistol because it's the shot on target that will stop the gunfight. However, let me give you a Richard Mann quote. If you're too damn slow, you might die. And but that's because when it comes to a defensive pistol engagement or a gunfight, sometimes being first is a, your best bet to survive. One of the ways that you can learn to measure your speed, and, and here's the thing, when it comes to a defensive handgun, the speed you're measuring, the speed you're trying to get a hold of happens so quick, there's not a device, you can't measure them with a stopwatch or a wristwatch, you need a shot timer. So a shot timer is an excellent way for you to work with your speed and see if you can improve your speed. And the great thing about a shot timer, it works great for dry fire training, just like it does for live fire training. Now I'm gonna show you a way to use a shot timer when you're dry fire training. And this is how you can measure your draw speed. And if you want to improve your draw speed, you can use a shot timer to help you do that. What you do on the shot timer, like this packed timer, it has a feature where you can set a delay up to three and a half seconds, and then you can set a par time. And that's what I've done. I've set a delay for three and a half seconds, and I've set a par time for one and a half seconds, and I'm going to attempt to present the handgun to the target within the par time. And the great thing about the shot timer, with this packed and the delay time, you don't need a partner. You can do it all yourself. Let me show you how this works. So that's pretty simple. You can keep adjusting that part time down until you get to a point where you're having trouble beating it and then you just keep working on it so you can improve your speed. But you can also use that same feature to practice your reload speed. Set the part time for whatever time you think you need, point the gun at the target, drop the magazine, insert a new magazine, and then you try to get your reload done within that part time. Now, when it comes to live fire shooting, there's some other ways you can use a part timer and I'm gonna show you how you do that right now. Now let's go check the shot timer and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So with the shot timer, we can use the review feature and we can see how long it took me to get each shot off. The first shot, the one from the draw, took 205 seconds, 2.05 seconds. That's a little bit slow. The second shot took 2.69 seconds. That's my split time, the time between these two. That's a little bit slow too. And the third shot, the, th the shot in the head for this failure drill, Total time was 3.58 seconds. So my split time between the second shot and the third shot is a little less than a second. Still just a little bit slow. So what I want to do now is go back and keep running this drill and try to reduce each of these times, especially the time, the transition between these two double tap shots here, center body, and then the head shot in the head. That's how you can use a shot timer to help you shoot better and faster.